A curious sight dotting the landscape outside of Katuit's Cahoon Museum. Yep, we're asking the same question you are. What is up with these blue trees? <laughs> So this is an environmental art installation by the artist Konstantin Demopoulos called The Blue Trees. Mm -hmm. And he's drawing attention to global deforestation and the importance of trees in our, our local environment. The artist uses an environmentally safe pigment. It's essentially a watercolor that will eventually wash off over time. It's safe to animals and the trees and to people in water. Director Sarah Johnson hopes the outside display draws people inside the museum's new exhibit space where there is now a delicate story about love letters at sea. This exhibit is called Exquisite Shells, the Art of Sailor's Valentines, and it is a history of this unique art form from the 1830s all the way to contemporary practice. Thousands of shells create an eye fill of entangled depth from the heart and demystifies the origination. Many people thought because sailors created scrimshaw, which is a form of carving on ships, that the sailors actually created these shellwork mosaics. But in fact, sailors purchased them in a cottage industry in Barbados. <laughs> All of this created at the hands of artists from around the world. The turn of a mermaid's dollhouse gives you an idea of how meticulous this expression is. It is an amazing piece created by Boston artist Peter Gable. Is he working with tweezers here? How do you get into he that? He is working with tweezers and he works with a special type of glue and he has 15 seconds to place each piece as he's working. The Cahoon adds to what many people believe is an understated culture on the Cape. I think it is an art lover's destination, although I'll probably get in trouble for letting the secret out. <laughs> When I start a painting, I get goosebumps. Whether it's his name or his nature, when you watch Jim Freehart paint, you know his soul is happiest when canvas and color reflect his vision. It's like breathing to me. His landscape creations are displayed in galleries and homes around the world. But Katuit raised him, and he returns every summer to pay her back with art. It's one of my favorite places in the world. A lot of beautiful people here, but the natural beauty is incredible. After more than four decades, you might assume he has painted every scene in this village, perhaps grown bored, but you would be wrong. The same views can be painted many different times in all kinds of different weather. His calm creativity, a Mr. Rogers of art. We're gonna make the big eye patches. A student of the world, now a teacher. And here's the little symbol that I've been putting on my paintings for 40 years, celebrate the gift of life. In stark contrast to its neighbor, Busy Route 28, Katuit Center for the Arts is a peaceful exploration into how art can tie threads of a community into a masterpiece. Katuit Center for the Arts has really grown into an amazing gathering place for our entire community. Executive Director David Keene walks us through two acres of simple elegance. Front and center, a 10,000 square foot hub of creativity. In 2000, the center operated out of an old converted garage. A fire destroyed what was, but out of that, the foundation for an incredible gift. A donor found this property and basically donated it to the community, like 100%. In the two decades since, what was just a few members has grown to thousands of visitors every year. We provide classes in visual, literary, and performing arts for people of all abilities in all disciplines. We have a whole concert series, one-off events like film screenings. Our tentacles are just out uh, everywhere. Add to that a gallery that is free to the public and a 180-seat main stage theater. The center hosts more than a dozen productions every year, most sellouts. Most everything you see here is from non-professional actors and performers. These are our teachers, our bankers, our neighbors, and the, the quality of the work is as high as professional as you will ever find. What if I turn my brush to The sure space provides an opportunity to learn about countless artful expressions. Art is as important to the health of a community as the food we eat, the water we drink, the air we breathe. It's what feeds the soul.
Things are a little different at the Katuit Center for the Arts this summer for obvious reasons. The center is in the midst of a slow reopening, offering outdoor classes and preparing for reopening indoors soon. And back to the Cahoon Museum, they are temporarily closed, but planning to reopen to the public on August 1st. And those blue trees, they're still there, but Nicole tells us they've faded just a bit since her visit. Next up, baseball, Katuit's beloved pastime. 